Hey guys, it's Tiffany from Barista Lab, and today I'm going to show you my favorite Baradza grinder. So this is a Barista Lab highlight video, and we're highlighting the Sete 270WY. Uh, let me tell you why this is my favorite grinder, even though it's way over the top for my uses. I just love its like sleek design. Uh, also, I don't care that it's over the top for my for my uses because I just love it so much. The other thing that I, so here, I'll turn it on its side. I just think it's, it's one of the most unique looking uh, espresso grinders. And I don't know, I just love that it's modern. I love that it's not a box. I love that it's still, uh, the height of it is still small enough to fit under a kitchen cabinet. So sometimes when you get an espresso, it's 15 and a half inches, by the way. Sometimes when you get an espresso grinder, it's like massive and you don't know where to put it. So you end up like making a special bar cart area, but this can go on a kitchen counter. The other thing I love about this grinder is this closed open valve on the hopper. Uh, one of the main reasons which for that, which I mentioned in one of the previous videos in this playlist, I really highly recommend checking those out. This is video number five is that when you're dialing in espresso, it takes a little bit, uh, especially if you haven't been working with the espresso, it takes a little bit to dial in. So your hopper is usually full. When your hopper's full, there's weight on top of the, uh, the coffee that's coming out in the grind. And usually to keep your espresso dialed in, you have to keep topping off your hopper. This is so like at the end of the day, after you want to put your coffee beans back in its bag. So you close this valve, you take the hopper off, and then you can just release your coffee beans into the bag. And so that's one of my favorite hoppers. Uh, my mom's with me today. She is behind the camera. And she also mentioned that if you want to change coffees, it's a pretty um, good feature. Let's say you're, you're having espresso in the morning and you're using one coffee and it's the coffee that you want to use for espresso, but then later on you want filter coffee, um, you can easily change beans in the hopper by using this closed open valve. One of my other favorite things about this grinder is this stepless adjustment. So I also mentioned this in another video, but the smaller the steps, the more control you have over dialing in your espresso. This is stepless. So there's an infinite number of possibilities and abilities to have control over your grind. Definitely, I'm a minimalist at heart and I don't like having more than I need. And I also don't like taking more steps than I need. So this is a weighted grinder, meaning that it grinds by weight. And I prefer that to time because usually in coffee, you're always weighing how much be how many beans you're starting with. So your bean to like water ratio and in espresso, you're also weighing the end beverage. I love that you could just grind like 18 grams of coffee for espresso or 30 grams of coffee for um, a Chemex. Two more things that I really absolutely love about this grinder are that it comes with the ability to use a ground spin or a porta filter. So um, you can ground, grind directly into the ground spin or you can push it in and change for a porta filter. And that's super easy. The other thing is it grinds super fast with pinpoint accuracy. So that's, uh, I don't know, just awesome, right? Now, I can't really talk about all of the things I love without highlighting maybe some of the challenges of this grinder. I'll tell you right now, I'm not afraid of any of the challenges in this grinder, but I just thought it would be nice so you guys know that you're getting like a 360 degree review here. So one of the challenges that this grinder has is when it's in, when you're using a Porta filter and this Porta holder, I heard and I read, I haven't used it mostly because I am a brewed co coffee drinker, but I just thought I'd let you guys know, is that the Porta filter vibrates and it kind of like throws off the scale. And so I also have read that anybody who has this grinder really doesn't care. They'll grind directly into the grounds bin, you know, forego the Porta filter altogether and they say, that is fine because they love the grinder so much. It, 
because it's a dedicated espresso grinder, it may be challenging to get those coarser, uh, those coarser grinds for other brew methods, like the French press or a press pot and the cold brew and maybe even like filter or Chemex. The other thing is that because it is kind of more, it, it does have a range, but because it is more of an espresso, like a dedicated espresso grinder, it's going to be more difficult to switch between espresso and filter coffee. Still, I'm not afraid of that, but you guys can decide for yourselves. And then last but not least, I'm gonna mention that this is short enough to fit under most kitchen cabinets, but it may be too big to fit inside of a kitchen cabinet. So if you're the kind of person who wants like nothing on the counters, which I am kind of that person, but I think I'd keep this out anyways, just because I love the way it looks so much. If you're one of those people, then maybe go for the Forte, or um, you could, you know, store this grinder in a cabinet without the hopper on it. So that is also a quick fix. Like I said, I'm not afraid of any of these challenges. I just wanted you guys to be aware that uh, there are some things about it that maybe would be a drawback to you, but they aren't to me. Anyways, guys, that is the sete highlight. We love it. We hope you do. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And don't forget to check out the other videos in this series. It's a Baratza playlist and it's basically uh, the Barista Lab Barazzo playlist. And uh, here we are, keeping it real for you.